I'm Ray Buriak. I live in South Jersey. I hunt in South Jersey and Ohio. I am very passionate about hunting mature whitetails. I chase them year round. A buddy of mine, Paul Lover, got me into bidding him hunts. Uh, I was very resistant at first, but now I love it and video, I video all my hunts and uh, something I really got to like a lot now. So I have five years of video and about 12 kills and uh, so I decided I want to share the hunts. Uh, some of my footage is pretty good and some not so good so I'm going to decide what I'm going to share because some of it is you know not great quality but solo camming is not real easy when you're doing it yourself so we'll do the best I can do. Uh, my preferred method of hunting is over bait, especially in New Jersey. So, uh, you know, to kill mature bucks over bait takes a lot of hard work and a lot of persistence and a lot of trial and error, and you get beat up a lot. But I have some methods now that that work pretty good for me. I don't kill my bucks every year, my big guys, but um, sometimes it works. So. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the fact that uh, I probably hunt over bait, but that's okay. It works for me, and I, you know, I play by the rules, and um, I enjoy it. I enjoy hunting over bait. It's a whole other aspect. But so moving on, my first uh, video is about a buck I call Nate the Nine. Um, I'm not sure who he was in prior years. This year he showed up in August in Velvet. It's a beautiful New Jersey buck. Um, he moved around a lot in the early season and then he settled he settled into one of my favorite spots like for the rut and stuff like that. So um, Most picks were at night until about late October. Um, he was getting real real close to daylighting. So um, a big storm may move through on October the 27th Temperatures dropped dramatically that afternoon, so I got I got changed, got into my stand. I was settled, I was settled in my tree, probably about four hours before dark, and uh, here's what happened. October 27th. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. 23 years old. That's crazy. My daughters are catching me. Alright, it's Saturday. We just had a, a really big storm come through. Rained hard all night and a steady, heavy, light rain to drizzle all morning. Temperature actually dropped in the last hour or so. It's down to 51. Um, I'm at Probably my all-time favorite spot, Bent Brow. So much history here with so many deer. First time hunting here this year. Started baiting it two weeks ago, I think. came back and baited Thursday night, about 8 o'clock at night. I can't keep baiting any of my spots. They're just destroying my piles. Um, at Bingo, which is about, I don't know, four or 500 yards from here, I've had Nate the Nine, the Freak, and another Tight Eight there since... 
middle of August. And um, I started baiting this because this is just a great rut spot. Eight to nine is my target. He's a good one for down here. He's right at that typical 115, 120-ish, I think. He's got good tines, so he might surprise me and push 120, I don't know. But either way, he's a shooter. I'm excited to try to get him. Nate, the nine. Everything felt great, but I don't know, it didn't seem like the arrow threw, flew right. I see the arrow. I think it hit him, but I'm not positive. It just, I don't know if I seen the arrow kick when it hit him. Something didn't seem right. was an eight to nine. I hope it's right. I don't know what happened. I'm a little worried. I had it right on him, I took my time. I was ready to squeeze it off. I took an extra couple seconds before I squeezed it. Check the arrow. 